Hello world, uh, welcome back to my channel. My name's Paul. Uh, this week we're in Lake Grace, part of the wheat belt. Um, on the way to Esperance, we went here on, in the Esperance video, but we didn't do any filming. But there's a lot to show you today. For now, let's roll the intro. And this is where we're staying, Saltbush Inn. There's the Mazda over there, really comfortable. Um, one of the nicest rooms we've stayed in, really. Not that any of the other rooms has been anything wrong with them, but for some reason this is really comfortable. Feels comfortable. Lovely. But let's go have a look around. Come and stay with us at the Saltbush Inn. <laughs> yeah, this wasn't on my list. The local high school I was just driving past and saw it it's Saturday today so I can film without worrying about kids 1914 just glorious um, got sculptures over here that I'm guessing some of the kids made but I can't find any information on that but this really is a striking old building now two reasons I stopped here first one's the caravan dump site and this is just the rec club the sportsman's club just here so easy to find um, but this jumping pillow is the beginning of an adventure playground they're building for the kids the, the town's really quite proud of it they um, got the skate park over there but yeah they're hoping this will be finished within the next year come and have a hit with us in Lake Grace this is a local cemetery just out of town I'm just there um, Again guys, there's some really old graves in here for people that are interested in those sort of things, but it's also a used cemetery. So again, like I say all the time, please treat it with respect. And I'm feeling a little bit emotional. My granddad's brother died seven or eight years ago and um, their farm's just up the road here. And every intersection between here and the farm was blocked off by the police. I've never seen so many cars at a funeral. It was really, yeah, rest in peace, Ken, Mum, Rachel, all the many, many people that I've lost. Now, my regulars will know, every now and again, I'll comment on the rubbish on the side of the road. Please take your rubbish, guys. It's toilet paper here. So someone's had a dump here. Town's right there, they could have gone to a toilet, but what's even worse, it's got me really upset about this one. It's a cemetery right there. Have some respect, people, please. So, normally, as you know, I'd go in there and get you some film right next to this thing, but you can see this bush, and it's 30-something degrees, real snake weather. So I'm not going to go wandering around there in sandals. But this little memorial here is to show the flood levels back in 2016. You can see here's the lake. Come and visit us in Lake Grace. And the visitor centre is only open Monday to Friday. They're opening up for me later to show me around a bit. But just on the eastern end of town, a bit of information here, this old cart. Now this map, I've got a paper copy of that and it really is quite um, informative. It'll give you at least a good day out looking here. But look at this old cart. This is where we're having breakfast this morning, Roma and Kay. Straight across the road is Rosie's. They're both highly recommended, so we'll eat at Rosie's tomorrow. And this is the old train station. Sorry guys, I can't find out when it was built, but I do know the railway first came over here in 1916, I believe. And this crane over here, this was built around 1925 to um, load st stuff off farmers' trucks and onto the trains. We love, we love Lily and Lake Grace! <laughs> and Lake Grace has a story trail, which I won't show you everything. You'll have to come here and do it yourself, but I'll give you an idea. It's a bit of a walk, maybe 20 minutes, half an hour, just all around town. And all through town is a little placards like this explaining what you're looking at and all along the story trails little plaques like this giving you more information 
and right next door to the War Memorial, built in 1954, is the Pioneer Women's Wall, celebrating all the women that made Lake Grace what it is. Um, I'm going to have to have a quick look to see if any of my family's on here. This impressive old building is the um, Australian Inland Mission Hospital and it was built in 1926 and stopped being a hospital in 1952. Now, I actually did a lot of research on this one so I could get all those dates and be able to tell you when it became a museum and things, but it's all written here anyway. So, But the museum's shut today, but guys, I've been here before. It's really well worth having a look. And you can park on the main road, which is just up there, and um, it's got this trail that starts there and tells you the history of the hospital and when the new hospital over here was built, when it became a museum. Every one of these little things on the ground talks about the staff shortage in 1964, the first St John's Ambulance branch here in 1946. This is really, really quite very impressive. So just in the background there, that's the old inland mission hospital I showed you. This is the new hospital which isn't that impressive but the reason I'm showing you this is because this is the health clinic, the medical clinic and when we did the shh I'm hunting whales videos about two years ago I, um, that's when my neck first, when I'd first damaged my neck and I'd forgotten all my pain meds so on the way to Esperance which was a long drive anyway we had to spend a couple of hours in here redoing my pain meds and outside the medical clinic is the continuation of the the um, mosaic walk that was just explaining all about the inland hospital, mission hospital. There's all these mosaics here about local areas, local people. Uh, there's one, someone's done one here for Santana, the band. It's really stunning. Okay, so the inland mission hospital's over there. The beginning of the mosaic walk's over there behind the Mazda. Yeah. This here, this is a scale model of the Victory which was the original Royal Flying Doctor plane in 1928. Um, the full size plane could carry four passengers and the pilot and he had no radio or anything, he did everything by line of sight. But this is what opened up Australia guys, if, if, you know, Google, if you're not from Australia, Google the um, Royal Flying Doctor service. They're an amazing service they've got. They cover 80% of Australia now. They've got 45 aircraft flying from 23 bases. And nobody in Australia, as remote as we are, there's nobody that's more than 90 minutes away from medical help. They really were, they really are an incredible bunch of people. And if just most, a lot of pubs you'll go to in Australia, you'll see the RFDS donation box sitting on the bar. Always drop your change in there, guys. And this immaculate old building is the Station Master's House, built in 1924. Train station's just up there. It's now the Visitors Information Centre, and Joe's good enough to open up for us this afternoon. So let's go in and plan the rest of our day. Yeah, I'm back at the hospital, Inland Mission Hospital. Joe was good enough to open it up for me. So let's go in and have a look. Um, we're about five or ten minutes north of town. I think it's north. Look at the sun. Yes, I'm pretty sure it's north. This plaque marks the spot of the first school, first Lake Grace school in 1925 to 1943. Imagine getting your horse and cart out to here. Just nothing. And now we're out at the jam patch. We're about 10 or 15 k's out of town. You can camp here. There's toilets and everything. No fires during the off season, guys, please. Remember in the Margaret River video what I showed you? If a fire got going here, there'd be none. And it's called the jam patch. I'm pretty sure these, all these trees here are called jam trees. That's why it's called the jam patch. But isn't this bush just breathtaking? And we're still at the jam patch. 
there's these established walk trails through here that one, there's three of them, one's a kilometre and a half, one's 1.8 kilometres, one's 2.5 kilometres and just goes through all of this stunning, stunning bush. So the jam patch was first established as the North Lake Grace Tennis Club. It was a bit far for the locals here to go into Lake Grace and play tennis so they had it here. And this is the original old shelter. The old tennis courts there, basketball court there. And these were, I've told you in a few videos, that these little sporting clubs were kind of the centre of a town back in the day. Still really, still. And big social events. And now we're at the Walkers Hill Vineyard. And guys, you know I don't like promoting vineyards because there's so many in WA and it's not fair I promote one after another, over another. But, when I, they, someone told me they're growing the wine out here, I'm thinking, what? This is drought country. This, they spend a lot of time dry here. And they're growing grapes. They do a Shiraz and a Chardonnay. And they do a blend to make a rosé. They actually gave us a bottle of rosé, but that's not why I'm doing this. I, I was going to buy it, but they gave it to me. This is just incredible, guys. The most inland vineyard in Western Australia. Thank you, Tanya, for the delicious wine. I'm going to enjoy it. And this is the actual Lake Grace that the town's named after. In the early 1900s, F.S. Brockman, one of the explorers here, named this after his wife, I believe, Grace Brockman. And then in 1907, they named the town Lake Grace. And then in 1910, the first settlers moved in here. I think 1914 they built the first school, so that was a sort of rapid, from 1907 to 1914 is a pretty quick growth for an area like this. I believe we can get a much better view from a lookout up here, so let's go and have a look. Sorry guys, got to put my sunglasses back on here, it's a bit bright. This is the lookout, isn't this magnificent? Look at that. And I want to take this opportunity to thank the local Noongar people sharing this amazing country with us. Magnificent. Isn't, Isn't this, this beautiful? beautiful? Morning. Just had a yummy breakfast at Rosie's, like I said yesterday. That's Roma and Kay there that we had breakfast yesterday. Either one, you won't be sorry. Or if you're here more than once, go to both. They were both delicious. Hey guys, what another great weekend. Thank you Lake Grace for making us feel so welcome. Um, we're on our way home. We're going home the back way through Coolan, And we're now on the Tin Horse Highway. But you're going to have to find, wait till the Coolan video in the next few months to find out why it's the Tin Horse Highway. But there's a bit of a clue behind me here. If you haven't subscribed yet guys, hit the Mad Dog icon up there or the subscribe button down below. Leave a comment, I always try and respond to all the comments. Give me a big thumbs up, share this video everywhere you can and um, we'll see you in the next one.